Eco Diary showcases issues in Arvada's natural environment. In this segment, we take a look at how the city protects our waterways during construction of new parks. Arvada's parks and playgrounds beckon us to soak up their natural beauty. But it takes planning to build such beauty safely. Projects at several parks this spring showcase what's called best management practices, or BMPs, that are required by the Federal Clean Water Act. Best management practices are used on construction sites in the stormwater field in order to keep the dirt and mud from leaving the site into our streams. Without those measures, the results could be dramatic. Well, it can affect the whole ecology of the stream. Um, you know, it can affect the plants, it can affect the wildlife, it can affect, in addition, the fish. It can also create undue sediment, and then once we have new sediment, then we can get noxious weeds and all sorts of things. So there are a lot of bad things that can occur. Four main types of BMPs help prevent all that. Access control, perimeter control, erosion control, and sediment capture. Access control is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Usually you'll see a big pad of large rock and that is where trucks and equipment can access the site and when they come off the site, the mud is supposed to be kicked off by the rocks. That is access control. Another BMP that's common is perimeter control. That's oftentimes you see silt fence, the black fence that circles a construction site. What that does is it captures anything that might get to the ends of the construction site, any mud, debris. The third kind, BMPs for erosion control, help keep the dirt in its place. That would be like planting seed, or as in the case of Creekside Park, we have erosion control blankets, straw blankets that keep that dirt back. Finally, sediment capture. Construction to update Memorial Park demonstrates BMPs for that, and sometimes they can look pretty strange. And we've got inlet controls, we've got straw waddles. I mean, people probably don't know what these things are. Um, you know, there's black fence and there's straw, and basically that's what this stuff is for. That BMP that is called inlet protection is there to keep the mud out of the drain, because once it goes in the drain, it's gonna head for our creeks. Once construction is finished, oftentimes we'll have an erosion control measure like an erosion control blanket, or you might see a green paint on the dirt. And that often, that's called mulch or hydromulch. When you see that, the erosion control um, and silt fences are still up. And what we're trying to do is get grass to grow to stabilize that dirt. It's important to give the BMPs time to work. So we ask the public to stay out of construction areas and also be careful about these BMPs that are on construction sites and waiting for the grass to grow. Um, don't walk on them or damage them. So although to the uneducated eye, it might all look pretty haphazard and messy, it's all part of a beautiful design to protect our water while creating parks we enjoy.